那我们这次的作品名称叫做《接轨》呃艺术旅行计划，然后前面有两个呃古地名的那个罗马拼音叫。从猪罗到打狗这个地方，猪罗是嘉义的古地名啊，然后打狗也是这边高雄嘛，对，高雄的的的古地名，然后我们就从嘉义到高雄，这样子一段啊、呃、一段也是一段旅程，然后我们这次用整个像火车、货车厢的一个连接概念，然后聚集的在大家地区所活动的艺术家，然后这次。来来构成这次的这样的作品概念，呃，然后所以这次每位艺术家所呃所做的做的作品就呃在一个呃在表达一个像旅行的经验或者是呃行旅一个行旅啊、呃，我们我们出门在外或者出去旅行，不管去呃去工作或者是真的去放松心情，都是。啊，我们至少从最小的行李说起，我们会口袋也是一种行李啊。然后我们身上背的东西，小包包、大包包到大的行囊，都是一种行李。那这些行李，呃，是呃，这每个人有不同的旅行经验，每个人不同的特质、想法啊、呃，然后去表现出来。然后二十这个数量代表是一个多数，我们借由每位艺术家。的不同的旅行经验、想法，呃，去传达出来，他们对旅行的不同的呃经验跟思考的重点。My container has a centerpiece which is based on a photograph out of the English Guardian, which is this one. And my work looks basically like that. I took a photograph of the doors, of the closed doors of a shipping container, and I enlarged that to original size. That means the original size as the photograph. Of a, well, as the container does have, and I'm going to mount that photograph at the far end wall inside the container, and this Guardian photograph goes into the center of that uh, uh, no, image of the closed doors of the container, and at the same time, the inside of the container will be painted black and only lit with tiny little light bulbs from torches so that there's hardly any light in there and uh, the strange thing about the photograph is it's a burning Chinese fishing boat and it's actually taken off the coast of Kaohsiung it's quite near here and I wonder who these people are and what, what happened to them其实没有什么创作理念，不过从一起工作的朋友里面，我好像听到了一些对于这个作品的看法很有趣。有人说这是呃槟榔屋，有人说这是 VIP room，有人说是鬼屋。我想这个参与工作的工人说的话，好像比
我的作品基本上是十十个灯音跟声光的序列的组合，那在五分钟的时间内播放完成，然后基本上可能会让观众有一些视觉上的刺激，然后蛮爆的。前进跟后退，这个前进的后退，这个直线运动的，呃，运动方式也是造成，就是这作品整个视觉效果里面一个中心，中心点的一个凹陷跟还原的一个最主要的一个一个运动方式。所以你可以看到，当作品在运作的时候，从顶点到凹陷的这个最高的最低点的情况下，它呃。它会产从这个直线的结结构里面，穿呃从由马达的部部分，它的运动将这个轴承连带的牵动到前面一个点跟后面一个点，因此前面的点跟后面点，也就是这一段行进的一个这一段运动的一个行进的呃呃区间区间段，所以我们可以看到它有。两个微动开关，微动的启动开关，这个微动，这个启动开关就是去启动马达的来回的运动运转方式的一个呃感应方式。其实我是用一个比较抽象的态度、抽象的方式去诠释我对文明这样的一个一个议题，就是、说。对我们人类来说，文明其实它本身蕴含的就是一种内在的力量，所以我运用这种内在力量，呈现在这一次的呃货柜的作品结构里面。当我们人观者进入到呃作品前面的时候，呃，作品会产生一种呃比较无形的力量，它会产生一种引力，像是观者。在面对作品所产生出来一种呃吸呃被吸引的力量，这样，所以这个被吸引的力量，其实就如同就是我对呃这一次的主题后文明的态度，跟我对于文明的一个诠释的方式。
of the Lake Constanza where 45 kids crushed. They crushed from their quite a high distance because the two planes collided the 1st of July 2002. So when the visitor coming to the container, he will stay on 11 layers of plastic like that which makes him feel really uncomfortable. What is this down? But at the same time, very safe because it's plastic. You cannot, you cannot kill yourself or you cannot break it. Their life is representing their airplane road. You know, in the airplane there is a kind of lights on the left and right side. So this is parachute. This is real parachute. And uh, you can swim without no problem. It was saved, installed by the professional mountain climber. And um, this is sensor light. When you are getting in, it's not working. But when you are approaching the parachute, it will lit. So it will make you feel on the spot. What is my idea with all of the installation is that despite the human failure of Swiss air traffic controller who did few mistakes which cause chain of events which caused this uh, horrible accident. Despite all of this, I think that contemporary society needs to concentrate on the safety before increasing the amount of transportation and communication between countries and give the people hope to feel comfortable and to feel safe. And my message to people is that don't take for granted what you have. We have airplanes, we have communication, internet, but we are not taking attention how actually fragile it is, how insecure is all these new systems. And I think that producers and, and air uh, companies need to concentrate on this as well as the big industries.